Welcome back to Chronically Healthy Life. Now in our biohacking segment this week, I'm going to teach you another thing that you can do to save time in the kitchen. And that thing I'm doing today is compound butter. Um, it sounds very fancy. All it, does, all it means is just butter with some other stuff in it. And that makes it compound. And the thing with butter is it's actually very healthy for you. Um, if you use grass-fed, good, clean butter, and I'll let Andy talk about that later, about why it's not the, why the, the butter fat is actually good for you. So all you have to do is have grass-fed butter, which we have. I have here probably about mm, three or four tablespoons. And once again, it's kind of like the seasoning salt. You can pick and choose what you like. Um, with compound butter, you can use fresh herbs or fresh whatever you want. Um, but the only thing is when, when you use fresh herbs, you have to put them, the butter in the fridge because <clears throat> otherwise it goes bad. So for me, I have here some of the bamboo salt. And I have some oregano dry oregano leaves to make it kind of like a Italian-ish flavor. And I have here some dry pepper leaves that we dry from the pepper plants we have from last year. So that will take the place of um, pepper itself. And to make it really fancy, I have here some saffron, which I'm gonna, also going to put them all in. And once again, mix it all together. You let it sit for a little while, and it, you can. You're, and then you're ready to use it for, I don't know, soft sourdough bread or whatever it is, lobster, or whatever you use a butter for. And you can actually also make a sweet version if you like. You can actually mix um, butter with honey, cinnamon, um, to make it like a sweet. Butter, which you can use on your toast as well so yeah that will save you a lot of time and it gives you great flavor when you're cooking and there you go here's your compound butter and I'll see you again next week <music>